Lakshmi, Tamil, Ilakkumi Iast, Laxmi or Laxmi, is the Hindu goddess of wealth, fortune and prosperity. She is the wife and Shakti energy of Vishnu, one of the principal deities of Hinduism and the supreme being in the Vaishnavism tradition. With Parvati and Saraswati, she forms Tridevi, the Holy Trinity. Lakshmi is also an important deity in Jainism and found in Jain temples. Lakshmi has also been a goddess of abundance and fortune for Tamils and was represented on the oldest surviving stupas and cave temples of Hinduism. Goddess Lakshmi in Hinduism, the goddess of abundance and fortune, Sri Lakshmi, reflected the accumulated wealth and financial independence of the Tamil monasteries. Lakshmi is also called Shri or Thuramagal because she is endowed with six auspicious and divine qualities, or gunas, and is the divine strength of Vishnu. In Hindu religion, she was born from the churning of the primordial ocean Samudra Manthan, and she chose Vishnu as her eternal consort. When Vishnu descended on the earth as the avatars Rama and Krishna, Lakshmi descended as his respective consort. In the ancient scriptures of India, all women are declared to be embodiments of Lakshmi. The marriage and relationship between Lakshmi and Vishnu as wife and husband is the paradigm for rituals and ceremonies for the bride and groom in Hindu weddings. Lakshmi is considered another aspect of the same supreme goddess principle in the Shaktism tradition of Hinduism. Lakshmi is depicted in Indian art as an elegantly dressed, prosperity showering golden colored woman with an owl as her vehicle, signifying the importance of economic activity in maintenance of life, her ability to move, work, and prevail in confusing darkness. She typically stands or sits like a yogin on a lotus pedestal and holds lotus in her hand, a symbolism for fortune, self knowledge, and spiritual liberation. Her iconography shows her with four hands, which represent the four goals of human life considered important to the Hindu way of life, Dharma, Kama, Artha and Moksha. She is often depicted as part of the Trinity Tridevi, consisting of Saraswati, Lakshmi and Parvati. Archaeological discoveries and ancient coins suggest the recognition and reverence for Lakshmi by the first millennium BCE. Lakshmi's iconography and statues have also been found in Hindu temples throughout Southeast Asia, estimated to be from the second half of the first millennium CE. The festivals of Diwali and Sharad Purnima are celebrated in her honor. Etymology <inaudible> 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 Lakshmi Laxmi is one of many Hindu deities whose meaning and significance evolved in ancient Sanskrit texts. Lakshmi is mentioned once in Rigveda, but the context suggests that the word does not mean goddess of wealth and fortune, rather, it means kindred mark or sign of auspicious fortune. Bhadrasam Laksmarnahitadi Vachi Bhadrasam Laksmarnahitadi Vachi. An auspicious fortune is attached to their words. In Atharvaveda, transcribed about 1000 BCE, Lakshmi evolves into a complex concept with plural manifestations. Book 7, Chapter 115 of Atharva Veda describes the plurality, asserting that a hundred Lakshmis are born with the body of a mortal at birth, some good punya, virtuous, and auspicious, while others bad papi, evil, and unfortunate. The good are welcomed, while the bad urged to leave. The concept and spirit of Lakshmi and her association with fortune and the good is significant enough that Atharva Veda mentions it in multiple books, for example, in Book 12, Chapter 5 as Punya Lakshmi. In some chapters of Atharva Veda, Lakshmi connotes the good, an auspicious sign, good luck, good fortune, prosperity, success and happiness. Later, Lakshmi is referred to as the goddess of fortune, identified with Shri and regarded as wife of Visnu Narayana. For example, in Shatapatha Brahmana, variously estimated to be composed between 800 BCE and 300 BCE, Shri Lakshmi is part of one of many theories, in ancient India, about the creation of universe. In Book 9 of Shatapatha Brahmana, Shri emerges from Prajapati, after his intense meditation on creation of life and nature of universe. Shri is described as beautiful, resplendent and trembling woman at her birth with immense energy and powers. The gods were bewitched, desire her and immediately become covetous of her. The gods approach Prajapati and request permission to kill her and then take her powers, talents and gifts. Prajapati refuses, tells the gods that males should not kill females and that they can seek her gifts without violence. 
The gods then approach Lakshmi, deity Agni gets food, Soma gets kingly authority, Varuna gets imperial authority, Mitra acquires martial energy, Indra gets force, Brihaspati gets priestly authority, Savitri acquires dominion, Pushan gets splendor, Saraswati takes nourishment and T. Vashtri gets forms. The hymns of Shatapatha Brahmana thus describe Sri as a goddess born with and personifying a diverse range of talents and powers. According to another legend, she emerges during the creation of universe, floating over the water on the expanded petals of a lotus flower. She is also variously regarded as wife of Dharma, mother of Kama, sister or mother of daughter and Vidadar, wife of Datatriya, one of the nine Shaktis of Visnu, a manifestation of Prakriti as identified with Dakshayani in Bharatasrama and as Sita, wife of Rama. In the epics of Hinduism, such as in Mahabharata, Lakshmi personifies wealth, riches, happiness, loveliness, grace, charm, and and splendor. In another Hindu legend, about the creation of universe as described in Ramayana, Lakshmi springs with other precious things from the foam of the ocean of milk when it is churned by the gods and demons for the recovery of Amra. She appeared with a lotus in her hand and so she is also called Padma. Root of the word Lakshmi in Sanskrit is derived from the root word lax, lax and laksa, laksa meaning to perceive, observe, know, understand and goal, aim, objective respectively. These roots give Lakshmi the symbolism, know and understand your goal. A related term is laksana, which means sign, target, aim, symbol, attribute, quality, lucky mark, auspicious opportunity. <laughs> symbolism and iconography The image, icons and sculptures of Lakshmi are represented with symbolism. Her name is derived from Sanskrit root words for knowing the goal and understanding the objective. Her four arms are symbolic of the four goals of humanity that are considered good in Hinduism: Dharma, pursuit of ethical, moral life; Artha, pursuit of wealth, means of life; Kama, pursuit of love, emotional fulfillment; and Moksha, pursuit of self-knowledge, liberation. In Lakshmi's iconography, she is either sitting or standing on a lotus and typically carrying a lotus in one or two hands. The lotus carries symbolic meanings in Hinduism and other Indian traditions. It symbolizes knowledge, self-realization and liberation in Vedic context, and represents reality, consciousness and karma work, deed in the Tantra Sahasrara context. The lotus, a flower that blossoms in clean or dirty water, also symbolizes purity regardless of the good or bad circumstances in which it grows. It is a reminder that good and prosperity can bloom and not be affected by evil in one's surrounding. Below, behind or on the sides, Lakshmi is sometimes shown with one or two elephants and occasionally with an owl. Elephants symbolize work, activity and strength, as well as water, rain and fertility for abundant prosperity. The owl signifies the patient striving to observe, see and discover knowledge particularly when surrounded by darkness. As a bird reputedly blinded by daylight, the owl also serves as a symbolic reminder to refrain from blindness and greed after knowledge and wealth has been acquired. In some representations, wealth either symbolically pours out from one of her hands or she simply holds a jar of money. This symbolism has a dual meaning, wealth manifested through Lakshmi means both material as well as spiritual wealth. Her face and open hands are in a mudra that signify compassion, giving or dana charity. Lakshmi typically wears a red dress embroidered with golden threads, symbolism for and wealth. She, goddess of wealth and prosperity, is often represented with her husband Vishnu, the god who maintains human life filled with justice and peace. This symbolism implies wealth and prosperity is coupled with maintenance of life, justice, and peace. Topic. Names Lakshmi has numerous names and numerous ancient stotram and sutras of Hinduism recite her various names. Padma, lotus dweller Kamala, lotus dweller Padmapriya, one who likes lotuses Padmamaladhara Devi, one who wears a garland of lotuses Padmamukhi, one whose face is as beautiful as a lotus Padmakshi, one whose eyes are as beautiful as a lotus Padmahasta, one who holds a lotus Padmasundari, one who is as beautiful as a lotus Shri, goddess Shri Lakshmi, opulence Sriya, Jatika of Goddess Lakshmi Jagadishwari, Peaceful Mother Vishnupriya, one who is the beloved of Vishnu 
Ulkavahini, one who rides an owl or other names include, Ambika, Manushri, Mahini, Chakrika, Kamalika, Ashwarya, Lalima, Indira, Kalyani, Mandika, Nandini, Ruhula, Vaishnavi, Samrudi, Narayani, Bhargavi, Sridavi, Chanchala, Jalaha, Madhavi, Sujata, Shriya, Prachi, Harapriya, Maheshwari, Madhu, Parama, Janamodini, Tripura, Tulsi, Ketka, Malti, Vidya, Vasuda, Vedavati, Trilachana, Tilatama, Subha, Chandika, Devi, Kriyalakshmi, Varupa, Vani, Gayatri, Savitri, Apara or Aparahita, Aparna, Aruna, Akila, Bala, Tara, Kuhu, Purnima, Aditi, Anamati, Avashya, Sita, Rama, Rukmani, Taruni, Yatsna, Jyoti, Nameshika, Atiba, Ishani, Smriti, Durga, Sharanya, Shivasayadari Shri. Ancient literature on Lakshmi Upanishads Shakta Upanishads are dedicated to the trinity of goddesses, Lakshmi, Saraswati and Parvati. Sabhagyalakshmi Upanishad, describes the qualities, characteristics and powers of Lakshmi. In the second part of the Upanishad, the emphasis shifts to the use of yoga and transcendence from material craving in order to achieve spiritual knowledge and self-realization, the true wealth. Sabhagya Lakshmi Upanishad synonymously uses Shri to describe Lakshmi. Topic. Stotrams and Sutras Numerous ancient stotram and sutras of Hinduism recite hymns dedicated to Lakshmi. She is a major goddess in Puranas and Itihasa of Hinduism. In ancient scriptures of India, all women are declared to be embodiments of Lakshmi. For example, every woman is an embodiment of you. You exist as little girls in their childhood, as young women in their youth and as elderly women in their old age. Every woman is an emanation of you. Ancient prayers dedicated to Lakshmi seek both material and spiritual wealth in prayers. Topic. Puranas Lakshmi features prominently in Puranas of Hinduism. Vishnu Purana, in particular, dedicates many sections to her and also refers to her as Shri. J. A. B. Van Butenen translates passages describing Lakshmi in Vishnu Purana as, Shri, loyal to Vishnu, is the mother of the world. Vishnu is the meaning, Shri is the speech. She is the conduct, he the behavior. Vishnu is knowledge, she the insight. He is Dharma, she the virtuous action. She is the earth, he earth's upholder. She is contentment, he the satisfaction. She is wish, he is the desire. Shri is the sky, Vishnu the self of everything. He is the moon, she the light of moon. He is the ocean, she is the shore. Topic. Subhasita, gnomic and didactic literature. Lakshmi, along with Parvati and Saraswati, is a subject of extensive subhashita, gnomic and didactic literature of India. Composed in the 1st millennium BC through the 16th century AD, they are short poems, proverbs, couplets, or aphorisms in Sanskrit written in a precise meter. They sometimes take the form of dialogue between Lakshmi and Vishnu or highlight the spiritual message in Vedas and ethical maxims from Hindu epics through Lakshmi. An example subhashita is Puranartha Samgraha, compiled by Vekatareya in South India, where Lakshmi and Vishnu discuss nidhi right, moral conduct and rajaniti statesmanship, right governance covering in 30 chapters and ethical and moral questions about personal, social and political life. Topic. Manifestations and aspects In eastern India, Lakshmi is seen as a form of one goddess Devi, the supreme power. Devi is also called Durga or Adi Parashakti. Lakshmi, Saraswati, and Parvati are typically conceptualized as distinct in most of India, but in states such as West Bengal and Odisha, they are regionally believed to be forms of Durga. Lakshmi is seen in two forms, Budevi and Sridevi, both at the sides of Sri Venkateshwara or Vishnu. Budevi is the representation and totality of the material world or energy, called the Aparam Prakrita, in which she is called Mother Earth. Sridevi is the spiritual world or energy called the Prakrita. Lakshmi is the power of Vishnu. Inside temples, Lakshmi is often shown together with Vishnu. In certain parts of India, Lakshmi plays a special role as the mediator between her husband Vishnu and his worldly devotees. 
When asking Vishnu for grace or forgiveness, the devotees often approach him through the intermediary presence of Lakshmi. She is also the personification of spiritual fulfillment. Lakshmi embodies the spiritual world, also known as Vaikuntha, the abode of Lakshmi Narayana or what would be considered heaven in Vaishnavism. Lakshmi is the embodiment of the creative energy of Vishnu, and primordial Prakriti who creates the universe. Topic. Secondary manifestations Ashta Lakshmi Sanskrit, Astalaksmi, Astalaksmi, lit. Eight Lakshmis is a group of eight secondary manifestations of Lakshmi. The Ashta Lakshmis preside over eight sources of wealth and thus represent the eight powers of Sri Lakshmi. Temples dedicated to Ashta Lakshmi are found in Tamil Nadu, such as Ashtalakshmi Koval near Chennai and in many other states of India. The Ashta Lakshmis are as follows. Other secondary representations of the goddess include Lakshmi manifesting in three forms, Shri Devi, Budevi and Nila Devi. This threefold goddess can be found, for example, in Shri Bhu Nila Sahitha Temple near Dwarakatiryamala, Andhra Pradesh, and in Adinath Swami Temple in Tamil Nadu. In Nepal, Mahalakshmi is shown with sixteen hands, each holding a sacred emblem, expressing a sacred gesture, or forming a mudra lotus, pot, mudra of blessing, book, rosary, bell, shield, bow, arrow, sword, trident, mudra of admonition, noose, skull cap, and kettledrum. In this representation, Mahalakshmi manifests as a a kind, compassionate, tranquil deity sitting not on a lotus, but on a lion. <inaudible> Jain temples Some Jain temples also depict Sri Lakshmi as a goddess of Artha wealth and Kama pleasure. For example, she is exhibited with Vishnu in Parshvanatha Jain temple at the Kajuraho monuments of Madhya Pradesh, where she is shown pressed against Vishnu's chest, while Vishnu cups a breast in his palm. The presence of Vishnu Lakshmi iconography in a Jain temple built near the Hindu temples of Kajuraho, suggests the sharing and acceptance of Lakshmi across a spectrum of Indian religions. This commonality is reflected in the praise of Lakshmi found in the Jain text Kalpa Sutra. Creation and legends Devas gods and Asuras demons were both mortal at one time in Hinduism. Amrita, the divine nectar that grants immortality, could only be obtained by churning Kshirasagar ocean of milk. The Devas and Asuras both sought immortality and decided to churn the Kshirasagar with Mount Manhara. The Samudra Manthan commenced with the Devas on one side and the Asuras on the other. Vishnu incarnated as Kurma, the tortoise and a mountain was placed on the tortoise as a churning pole. Vasuki, the great venom spewing serpent god, was wrapped around the mountain and used to churn the ocean. A host of divine celestial objects came up during the churning. Along with them emerged the goddess Lakshmi. In some versions, she is said to be daughter of the sea god since she emerged from the sea. In Garuda Purana, Linga Purana, and Padma Purana, Lakshmi is said to have been born as daughter of the divine sage Brigu and his wife Kyati and was named Bhargavi. According to Vishnu Purana, the universe was created when the Devas god and Asuras evil churn the cosmic ocean of milk. Lakshmi came out of the ocean bearing lotus, along with divine cow Kamadhenu, Varuni, Parijitri, Asparas, Chandra the moon, and Danvantari with Amrita nectar of immortality. When she appeared, she had a choice to go to Devas or Asuras. She chose Devas' side and among thirty deities, she chose to be with Vishnu. Thereafter, in all three worlds, the lotus-bearing goddess was celebrated. Celebration in Hindu society Many Hindus worship Lakshmi on Diwali, the festival of lights. It is celebrated in autumn, typically October or November every year. The festival spiritually signifies the victory of light over darkness, knowledge over ignorance, good over evil, and hope over despair. Before Diwali night, people clean, renovate, and decorate their homes and offices. On Diwali night, Hindus dress up in new clothes or their best outfits, light up diyas lamps and candles inside and outside their home, and participate in family puja prayers, typically to Lakshmi. After puja, fireworks follow, then a family feast including matai sweets, and an exchange of gifts between family members and close friends. Diwali also marks a major shopping period, since Lakshmi connotes auspiciousness, wealth and prosperity. 
This festival dedicated to Lakshmi is considered by Hindus to be one of the most important and joyous festivals of the year. Gaja Lakshmi Puja is another autumn festival celebrated on Sharad Purnima in many parts of India on the full moon day in the month of Ashvin October. Sharad Purnima, also called Kojagari Purnima or Kuanr Purnima, is a harvest festival marking the end of monsoon season. There is a traditional celebration of the moon called the Kamudi celebration, Kamudi meaning moonlight. On Sharad Purnima night, goddess Lakshmi is thanked and worshipped for the harvests. <laughs> Hymns Countless hymns, prayers, slokas, stotra, songs and legends dedicated to Mahalakshmi are recited during the ritual worship of Lakshmi. These include Sri Mahalakshmi Ashtakam, Sri Lakshmi Sahasranama Stotra by Sanath Kumara, Sri Studi by Sri Vedanta Desikar, Sri Lakshmi Studi by Indra, Sri Kanakadhara Stotra by Sri Adi Shankara, Sri Chattusaloki by Sri Yamunacharya, Narayani Studi, Devi Mahatmyam Middle Episode, Argala Stotra, Sri Lakshmi Sloka by Bhagavan Sri Hari Swamiji and Sri Sukta, which is contained in the Vedas. Shri Sukta contains Lakshmi Gayatri Mantra Om Shri Mahalakshmi Aica Vidmehi Vishnu Patnyai Ca Dimahi Tano Lakshmi Prakadayadom. Archaeology A representation of the goddess as Gaja Lakshmi or Lakshmi flanked by two elephants spraying her with water, is one of the most frequently found in archaeological sites. An ancient sculpture of Gaja Lakshmi from Songsite at Mathura dates to the pre-Kushan Empire era. A Tranjikira site in modern Uttar Pradesh has yielded terracotta plaque with images of Lakshmi dating to 2nd century BCE. Other archaeological sites with ancient Lakshmi terracotta figurines from the 1st millennium BCE include Vaisali, Sravasti, Kasambi, Kampa, and Khandrakatagad. The goddess Lakshmi is frequently found in ancient coins of various Hindu kingdoms from Afghanistan to India. Gaja Lakshmi has been found on coins of Scytho Parthian kings as is the second and Azalizes. She also appears on Shunga Empire King Jayasthamitra era coins, both dating to 1st millennium BCE. Coins from 1st through 4th century CE found in various locations in India such as Ayodhya, Mathura, Ujjain, Sanchi, Bodh Gaya, Kanauj, all feature Lakshmi. Similarly, ancient Greco-Indian gems and seals with images of Lakshmi have been found, estimated to be from 1st millennium BCE. A 1400-year-old rare granite sculpture of Lakshmi has been recovered at the Wagama village along Jhelum in Anantnag district of Jammu and Kashmir. A statuette supposedly thought to be of Lakshmi found in Pompeii, Italy, dates to before the eruption of Vesuvius in 79 CE. Topic: <laughs> Related goddesses. Japan Goddess Kishihotean of Japan corresponds to Lakshmi. Kishihotean is the goddess of fortune and prosperity. Kishihotean is considered the sister of the deity Bishaman, Pai Sha Men also known as Taman or Bishaman Ten. Bishaman protects human life, fights evil, and brings good fortune. In ancient and medieval Japan, Kishihotean was the goddess worshipped for luck and prosperity, particularly on behalf of children. Kishihotean was also the guardian goddess of geishas. While Bishaman and Kishihotean are found in ancient Chinese and Japanese Buddhist literature, their roots have been traced to deities in Hinduism. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Tibet and Nepal. In Tibetan Buddhism, she is an important deity, especially in the Gelug school. She has both peaceful and wrathful forms. Her wrathful form is known as Paldan Lamo or Sri Devi Dudsal Dokam or Kamadatvashvari, and is the principal female protector of Gelug Tibetan Buddhism and of Lhasa, Tibet. Goddess Vasudhara in Tibetan and Nepalese culture is closely analogous to Goddess Lakshmi as well. <laughs> Bali Indonesia. Goddess Lakshmi is closely linked to a goddess worshipped in Bali, i.e. Dewi Shri, as the goddess of fertility and agriculture. See also References Further reading 
Venkatatavari, 1904. Sri Lakshmi Sahasram. Chaukamba Sanskrit Depot, Benares, in Sanskrit only. Dilip Kodadwala, Diwali, p. 11, at Google Books, ISBN 978-0237528584 Hindu Goddesses, Vision of the Divine Feminine in the Hindu Religious Traditions ISBN 81-208-0379-5 by David Kinsley Lakshmi Puja and Thousand Names ISBN 1-887472-84-3 by Swami Satyananda Saraswati Topic. External links Lakshmi at Encyclopædia Britannica British Broadcasting Corporation, Lakshmi Kashmiri Overseas Association, Inc., Goddess Lakshmi